Hey everyone, my name is Savannah and happy almost anniversary to Planet Zoo. On November 4th, it will mark four years since Planet Zoo's release. I cannot believe that it has been four years already, but today in celebration, November 2nd, we got a free update, which includes uh, two major things. We're here in Mesa Gardens Zoo. I went ahead and just opened it as a sandbox so that I could have somewhere to show these things off for you all. And I was hoping while sitting here, somebody would buy some balloons so that I could show you the very first part of the update, but we might have to come back to that. So. While I wait for somebody to buy my $1 balloons, mind you, I marked them down to where we're losing money and they still don't want them. We'll head on over here to this exhibit, which in our franchise series has our warthogs, but for today has the collared peccary. These guys were added again for free in the update today whole new animal for you we can see some adults running around we've even got some little babies in here i did go ahead and put if i bring back up my menu here there's three different excuse you three different color variants we have dark gray bristles with white collar we have light gray bristles with white collar and then is this one nope that's dark gray again there is a normal gray, where are you? There we go, gray bristles with white collar. Now, if I pause this, they kind of all look very, very similar. The dark variation is always the one that I can tell the difference with the most, um, but those are just the three normal color variants. If I get them all in one area, let's see if I can do this. All of you guys sit there for just a second. You can see there's some very, very slight differences in color. Always love that they add the variants. Just adds just a little bit of variety to your exhibits. Now, they do also come in albino. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find one yet, though. Um, I've been looking, not able to find it, unfortunately. Oh, he just grew up in front of our eyes, which is inconvenient because the next thing that I was going to talk about is the fact that the color variants do carry over into the babies. This guy should be a dark gray. Yeah. And so he was a little bit darker than the baby would look if it were a light gray or just a normal gray. They get a little bit more brown and he got, he was a little bit darker. So that does carry over into the baby model. But again, if we pause this real quick here and just take a close look, the model looks amazing. Frontier with the hair texture and everything, and this kind of salt and pepper texture throughout, really, really well done. They've done this on a couple other animals that we have in game and the porcupine having all the hair and stuff on its back. Uh, or it's quills rather, they just do such a good job. So I think this guy looks absolutely fantastic. All the little whiskers on the face, around the eyes, little bit on the chin there. You can see his little teeth poking out, little pig nose on the front. I mean, just, just look at that. How adorable is that? It's actually a really cute picture. So cute looking down at the ground like that. Now, I know it's not the most exciting or big ticket animal, but I'm excited that it was the collared peccary. It lets you kind of round out your zoo collection a little bit more, adding to the Bavarusa and of course the warthog and the red river hog. Just, I mean, it's a free animal, so I really don't have any complaints about the fact that it's just added for free. But as always, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And let's go see if anybody has bought my my practically free balloons yet. Are you joking? Nobody wants my balloons. This is insane. OK, hold on one second. OK, there we go. Now people are buying the balloons. So you can see here we have the black and white rough lemur. This is the peccary. Looks a little cat-like to me, but it's supposed to be the peccary. We also have an orangutan right back there. Uh, and then the red deer. Somebody had a red deer around here just a second ago. Aha, here you are. 
let's delete this because you're kind of in uh, in the shade. And then we have the red deer. So the orangutan, the black and white rough lemur, the red deer, and the collared peccary were all added as balloon designs for your park. Now that's in addition to all the other balloon designs and just another fun little detail for your parks. You can, of course, toggle them on and off just like other balloon designs. Look at how many we have now. Um, but yeah, these four were added for the anniversary update. And of course, you can still be cruel and pop them just like normal balloons if you click on them. My lord, look at this traffic through here. Everybody is so excited about the collared peccary and the porcupine. So there you have it, a little anniversary update from Planet Zoo. Please do let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to get an albino one to show off for you, but I do know other creators have found it. Uh, for example, Leaf, if you don't follow him already, you should be. Uh, he was able to show it off on his channel. So if you want to check that out, head on over to his video. And with that, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Like and subscribe and comment and all that fun YouTube stuff that really helps me out. And I appreciate you. Until next time, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.